back in business. Because it's morning time. Yay. Why do these slimes just love me so much? Where Where is this little guy? Oh, there he is. Dude, dude, chill. How's my How's my cotton doing? Mmm. Mmm. Real good. Um. It might actually be a good idea to make a garden. Okay, what is this guy? Is this like a... Whoa, hey. Are you supposed to be able to get out of the water? And let me stand on your back? Are you like a porpoise? Are you a shark? I don't know what you are. And I don't know why you're just chilling on the land. I could punch him. Okay, he looks like a friendly creature. This crab thing, on the other hand, not so much. Fortunately, my my range is just a touch longer than his. Yes, I got some some food. I I really don't know what that is. But oh wait, do you just eat that raw? Maybe. Let's find out. You do. Raw crab. Mmm, delicious. Wow, this thing, a moon heron leg? Why does it take so long to cook? Whatever, I ain't got time for that. Where's my dirt? I had a slew of dirt. Here we go. 21 dirt. Okay, maybe not a slew. I had a few pieces of dirt. Where's my shovel? I think I got rid of it. Yeah, I, I used that up. I need to reclaim this. This house needs to go bye-bye. It is completely destroying the natural beauty of the landscape. It all must be eliminated. Destroy. But I, I can't say the next line because, well, that's copyright from Disney. Because, uh, yeah, they own, uh, they own what you write in books prefixed with the word toy. If you get my gist, you know. And no, this really has nothing to do with Buzz Lightyear or Toy Story. All it has to deal with is destroying this. Alright, so we'll just fill the hole in the ground with dirt for like a layer deep. And we'll call that good. And I should probably really make a shovel. Though, I don't think a stone shovel is really any faster than my fist. Doesn't seem like it. Does not seem like it at all. But whatever, we'll do it. It's the right way. It's the right way and it's the right thing to do. Keep waiting for that cotton to grow. Which I feel like it's going to be a very long wait. But whatever. It's that or try to find spider webs again. And spider webs just seem to be very elusive. When you need them, of course. Because as I was... Oh, I got a wooden axe. As I was looking for this location, I found tons of spider webs. And now that I need him, yeah, I can't find a single one. So that is phenomenal. I'm going to grab my stuff out of this cave. There's really no reason to leave any torches or anything in here. As it's just going to be uh, destroyed. Take those guys back. Eliminate this. And then start on the layout. Now I'm thinking, I've been thinking about this for a while now actually. Waiting till I got to the point where I could start building. I think we're going to do like a visitor center at the end of it. And then it's going to be like a U shape with, um, I don't want to call them cells. What do you, what do you call a... Uh, the spot where the animal lives. A cage? Would you just call that a cage? 
I guess we can call it a cage. Cage sounds good to me. Whatever, I don't know. Okay, now we're going to have some... Some stuff on the lakefront here. And we've got to have some place to plant stuff, but that can come in a later episode. Let's grab that out of here and knock this down. All right, now I want, if we do 10 by 10, does it really matter where we start? No, not really. We'll just build out as we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And I missed a couple there. Eight, nine, ten. That might really be way bigger than I need. I mean, I guess it depends on what I'm putting in the cage. This is really just way too huge. Like, but then I suppose I could put multiple animals in the same thing. And let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, so the inside dimension's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inside's eight by eight. What if we drop that down to a six by six? Whoops. Is that still big enough? Yeah, that's better. Okay. And this is why we build with dirt before we do stone. Because it takes forever to mine stone. Why am I using an axe on dirt? That's silly. Dirt's relatively quick to get rid of. It's an easy material to experiment with. All right, so we have a footprint for our first build. So let's grab these. Let's grab those. And where's that protection block? Let's grab that. All right. Remove the corners. Drop these blocks in place. Um, start with glass at the ground? How do I want to style this? There's no reason to not let the animals see the outside world. Not that it makes any difference if they can or not. But let's do... We'll leave them on the grass, of course. It'd be inhumane to not... Okay, and then do that. Am I not playing with connected glass? Hmm. Or don't paints connect? They should. Let's see. That's probably going to have to go three high. Whoops, didn't want that. I want to place it on top. Hmm. I like that. And we'll have to put one there. And one there. Man, this is difficult. Somebody needs to develop a better way to put glass out. This is a trick. There we go. Yay! And then I'll honestly have to do something for a roof on top of this yet. But that's a start. And if I put a turtle in this... Whoops. Don't think I have to worry about a turtle getting out anyway. Like, what's a turtle gonna do? <laughs> Climb up the glass? Don't think he can do that. Though admittedly, I don't know too much about the turtles in this. Come on, Cotton, grow faster. Grow faster already. Now the protection block... The placement of that, I'm not sure on yet. Like, it should be... 
on one of these corner pillars, I'm thinking. But I'm really not sure which or where. I have to see how those kind of work, I guess. Because I don't want to have a chunk of it not be protected. But at the same time, I don't know how big of a piece they protect just offhand. So I will have to do a bit of experimentation on that front. Corners. Ah, they're going to need lighting. Glow glass. I can do glow glass for the roof. That'll work. That'll give the animals some light. Oh, they're going to need doorways too. I need to have some way to get to the animals. For right now, I'll just do a torch in the corner. How am I going to get in this? Um, an access way in the back? An underground entrance? I don't like the idea of an underground entrance. Hmm, should have planned better. It's an even number. Why well, I can just throw the door right in the corner. What if I do... Let me make a door here. I got enough material on me. At some point, I'll do locked doors. Or wait, do I even have to? Uh, I probably should. But I don't think I really have to. Now, I don't know, will glass... I don't know if glass will connect up to a door or not. If it doesn't, oh, it just looks janky. We'll do a, a stone block there. Frame the door out in this. Boom, boop, boop. There we go. That'll give me entrance to the animal's cage. And I forgot that I could walk on top of this, so... <laughs> so that's how we put the glass in. Super professional quality right here. I need more glass. This gives me 16, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to cook down some more sand. But that's okay, there's plenty of sand to be had nearby. And glass, glass and glass, perfect. I don't know how I'm putting the glow glass on top. That will be a trick. And I don't want that there. Thanks, but no thanks. Same as that. No, I want it on top. There we go. It's just, it's too tricky placing, no. Like, I don't think people, uh, I don't think people usually do glass like this. This is just way too hard. Alright, almost done. Ah, uh, we gotta have a whole glass roof, though. Glow glass. Coming right up. Now, do we do a whole nother row around with the stone? Probably. Can I sneak jump up? Nope. That torch is going to be an issue, so we'll put it right there instead. Alright, and now, theoretically, this wall is shared with the next animal. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. There's no reason to put each animal on their own, that's just silly. Okay, I'm going to make a little stairway to get up out of dirt. Um, something just like that. And then super sketchily walk around the perimeter. Not dangerous at all. 100, whoops, percent OSHA approved. See, I even had fall protection on so I wouldn't get hurt when the inevitable, my falling, happened. And as you can see, obviously it worked because I was not hurt. So there, OSHA, if you are worried about the safety of me in a video game, worry no more. 
Oh, perfect. Exact amount I needed. Climb back down. Okay, now glow glass. Do I need super glow glass? Probably not. If we do, uh, we'll make it, I guess. What kind of lighting do I want to provide? Just like an ambient? Because I don't... I mean, I guess the goal really isn't to make this bright as day when the animals want to sleep. You know? Like, give the animals some privacy. Where did I get bones from? Bone meal. Dude, can I use this on that cotton? I know I'm all over the place right now. Let's try it. I did something to it. Cool. Um, did I get any cotton out of that? I did. I now have five strings. And I got some cotton seeds back, which... I think I would rather plant... This is all completely subject to change, but I'm going to put it there for right now. That was just a little too close to things. Okay, um, magic lasso. What do we need for the lasso? Stone and, or steel and gold. Four steel. One, two, three, four. Need to cook down a gold lump. Honestly, I don't even know if I have any. Oh, wait, I didn't I dig the furnace? I did. I did, I did, I did. I'm going to just drop it right here for right now. We will pick a better location for that at some point in the future. I'm going to need the cobblestone to do other things. Do I have anything else that needs cooking? Or do I just end up wasting all of that? I'm going to need stone too, so you know what, whatever. I'll do oh wait, I had a silver lump. Let's cook the lump of silver and then throw the stone back in there. At some point, I will need more of this for more protection blocks. Okay. Um, magic lasso, yeah. Boom. Right-click animal to put in inventory. I'll probably have to wait till morning to do that. Kind of want to get that turtle, but I don't think he's still going to be around. I just feel like that is very unlikely. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to need some other things too, though. I need a lot more of these for starters. Oh yeah, I can do gates and fences and stuff. But I don't know if I really need any of that right at the moment. Or wait, was that? A no, that's not how you make a fence. There we go. Cobblestone walls. I'll probably want those at some point. To do some kind of an enclosure type deal. Now, do I... The decisions are always so difficult. I wanna... Well, let's start with just using dirt. Again, dirt is a great material to experiment with. Because I'm going to need some way of getting to these animals. So if I do like a, a whole pathway along the back side of this. Does it even need to be too wide? Probably not. But I suppose I could then... I could put stuff in here. Just whatever. Yeah, I'll do it too wide. I can line it with chests, furnaces, whatever, you name it. Does it need to be stone, though? Uh, I mean, it really doesn't. But I'm going to use it. Because I like the way it looks. La 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 la. And we'll just... Go over like that for now. That'll be sufficient. Uh, we'll put a window there. Window there. Window here. Window there. I like windows. 
if you hadn't noticed. As an OS, no, I hate Windows. But as something in a building, totally. And in fact, I may even just do double high windows, because why not? Boop, boop. Ah, oh, I don't have any more. Well, that's okay. I need one more. Do I have any more? Oh, I have plenty more cobble. Good. Excellent. I'll just throw this up in here. And then it's off to catch our first animal. To have a thumbnail, finally. What do we want to catch? I've really, no I've never used a magic lasso, so I have no idea how this works. Those foxes are cute. If we can find one of those, I mean, psh, I'll do a slime too. I don't care. Whatever. A big green slime. Oh wait, what's this? I don't know what that is, but I think we got it. Wolf. Okay, so we get a spawn egg. That works. Let's go back and put Mr. Wolf in here. Now, do I have to... I, I guess we'll find out together. I don't know if... Do I have to place the egg? I mean, I know that's how you spawn it. But is he going to despawn now at all? Hmm, I don't know. Let's find a good location for... I really dislike that this class isn't connected. I'm going to have to double check my settings. But this makes... Let me turn off. There we go. This makes for a perfect... You know, and actually... Just took a screenshot right there. Boom. Thumbnail for the video. First animal. Alright. And we're at 22 minutes. So you know what? Let's, let's end this episode here. I think I recorded four of them today. Should be good. He's our first wolf. We are going to find out if this poor guy despawns by himself. And he needs a friend, so I'll have to get another one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see another one. Wait, where'd he go? Come on, I... Oh, I can't. I can't get through there. I know you want... Oh, wow. First try. So I know you want to be with your buddy. And I wonder, honestly... Oh, dude, there's swarms of them! I'm going to put a whole pack in there. Come here. Come here. I don't know what that was. Come to Poppy. We got three of them. Here's another. Why are they all in the water? I don't get it. Four of them. Dude, this is going to be better than Milwaukee County Zoo. Only reason I reference Milwaukee County Zoo is because they have a horrible zoo display. A uh, wolf. Wow. Horrible wolf display. Uh, they call it, like, the woods or something. You never see anything. Hey. Never, ever see any... Dude, moose, what are you doing in my... My little, uh... Whatever I'm calling this, I don't even know. Wait, this guy's not... They're not hostile, so why am I... I can go in here and place these guys out. Hey, buddies. Um, I don't know. What what do wolves want in their habitat? Can I feed them meat? They don't look like they're overly interested in the meat. It might have to be raw. Ooh, hey. Raw meat, huh? Huh? Am I right? Sorry, buddy, but I needed some food for my friends. No, no. Okay, I'm going to have to jump in from the rooftop feeding time here we go here we go and I'm gonna give this guy a piece wolf at full health well I would hope they're at full health I just gave him some steak some fresh raw moose steak all right let's get a new picture I know we said the other one was going to be our picture, but... Ah, but no, I didn't want to fall in. I got to hold shift when I'm up there. Okay. Um... Well, stop hiding in the corners where I can't see you. There we go. 
Turn off that. Do that. Boom. New thumbnail. All right. Now we'll end the episode. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request Review button right there. It takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review, post it online, you watch, we all profit, the world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.